What's going on guys? I'm King Sway. And today we have Nightwing vs. Daredevil. DC vs. Marvel in the death battle. Flat out, my prediction, Nightwing. Why? He was trained by Batman. I love Nightwing. I love Batman. I love DC. Don't get me wrong. I love DC and Marvel. I'm pretty sure you heard me call out all the different um, comic books that I've read. Or rather the comic brands. And I recently just saw Bloodshot. If you haven't, go check it out. It was better than what I thought it was going to be. I mean, it deviated from the comic a little bit. But, yeah. That made me want to do something like that for, uh, like, a Super Soldier fight for um, one of my channels. But, enough talking. We're going to hop right into this. Like I said, Nightwing. Hey everybody, want to let you know we have an all-new Death Battle tee. If you guys like the way it looks and you want to pick one up, just click the link in the description below. It's beautiful. The guy that was in uh, the top right. I so, uh, see he's, he's again, again. Just. I want to be in the pick in the video, guys. In a world where superhumans can fly through the sky or lift buildings Super over monkey. their head, it takes a lot more than a pair of tights for a mere mortal to stand out from the crowd. But these guys have it covered. Nightwing, the original protege of Batman. The original and Robin. Daredevil, marvelous man without survive. fear. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze Extra their mistakes. weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a Daredevil's death Billy battle. Club. In modern times, the questionable whimsies of the circus are all but dead. And good riddance, because the world doesn't need any more clowns. Yet in its heyday, he few like performances him, could top the like clown mastery either. of the Flying Graysons. Well, until a mobster cut their cord on life short. Literally. But they had a son, young yet just as talented as them. Orphaned and alone, all seemed hopeless for Dick Grayson. This is from the 90s until show. Until he Batman, scored uh, the coolest foster Batman dad in Avengers. the freaking universe. Yeah. The goddamn Batman. Using, and using under the Cape Fox Crusader, Fox Dick Kid wasn't just a son. He, he was a, a sidekick. Kids a superhero. Saturday morning cartoon. He was Robin. Until he wasn't. <laughs> That's when it went to the WB. You got Robin spent many, many years kicking bad guys around the back alleys of Gotham City with his new dad. Who could forget the time he crushed Blockbuster under a truck, or when he whipped out that shark repellent? Never leave home without it, kids. The bad but then shark Batman repellent. suddenly realized, you know what? Bringing kids into battle is actually a bad idea. So he fired him, and then promptly forgot this little revelation. Only time to update Yo, the resume, this, yeah. Batman. Probably for the best, though. I mean, come on. The kid didn't even have a proper pair of pants. What's your problem, Bruce? <laughs> wow, <laughs> the mouth on this one. Actually, it was for the best, though not in the way Batman hoped. Inspired by a story of an ancient Kryptonian superhero, Dick took to the streets by himself with a brand new uniform and a brand new name. From then on, he would be known as... I want to... Nice. I hate that red costume. Black and blue. Didn't I say that about Miles Morales? Gotta hand it to Bats. He sure knows how to mold a kid into a criminal crushing machine. With expertise in Taekwondo, Ninjutsu, Aikido, and a bunch of other styles, Nightwing is one of the finest martial artists in comic book history. Yes, he no is. doubt helped by his world-class acrobatic skills. He is one of only three people on Earth who are capable of performing a quadruple flip. And between the fancy schooling he got at Hudson U and being a founding member of the Teen Titans, he's got brains and brawn, plus a whole lot of weapons. Nightwing's suit is lightweight, bulletproof, and makes virtually no sound when moving. The blue colors even turn black while in the dark. His mask features a holographic UI complete with night vision and a spectral analyzer. He's rocking utility belts on his wrists and ankles full of lockpicks, smoke pellets, and staples that are so strong they can support the weight of a freaking helicopter. He also carries a rebreather, grapple gun, and wingdings. That weird alien font with all the shades? Oh, I'll figure out your secret one day, wingdings. No, 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 more like the batarangs or throne shurikens. The standard wingdings are extremely sharp, but he also carries dulled ultrasonic and explosive variants. But let's get to the good stuff, like his two screaming sticks. Escrima sticks. That are Excrema. great for beating the shit out of people. And they'll be pretty shocked when they find out Nightwing has wired them with 50,000 taser. volt tasers. Despite their falling out, Nightwing clearly remains inspired by the gadgets and skills of his batty mentor. 
and he's put them to good use. He's strong enough to punch people through solid walls and smash through a sheet of ice from underwater and hold back the 19,000 pounds per square inch bite force of an orca. And while breaking a car window doesn't sound impressive, Nightwing's done so while the that's car was that's underwater. The pressure and the force you need to generate, yeah. To pull this off, he needed to impact the glass with over 24,000 pounds per square inch. He's quick enough to dodge point-blank gunfire, skilled enough to leap through the city while blindfolded, and tough enough to survive falling off a building. Generally, any unsafe landing over 20 feet is guaranteed off, to break bone. And Nightwing dropped 100 and that is why I don't park or at least not and on the feet. Nah. And we've all but don't get me wrong. Snap. Yep. What I say. At one point, Nightwing spent 96 hours patrolling city streets looking for the criminal mastermind Two-Face, and an additional five or more hours collecting evidence. A 2010 Look, study on sleep deprivation I might noted fight that for, 72 uh, for hours living, without sleep but leads I will to never a number of horrendous side effects, Look, including hallucinations. Enough, but I ain't doing that. When it like, was that, time to leap that between stuff scares limbs, me. hundreds mm -hmm. of feet in the air, and give Two-Face the beatdown he deserved, you couldn't even tell Nightwing was in desperate need of a nap. And don't forget, he was trained by the number one detective detective in the world. He's good enough to solve a kidnapping with a single look at the scene of a crime. Even more impressive, he once performed a skydive at 930 miles per hour, which took all of 15 minutes. That puts his starting position around 25 miles high and free falling faster than the speed of sound. For reference, real life Austrian athlete Felix Bumgartner performed a similar great leap from 24 miles up, hitting a maximum speed over 800 miles per hour. To pull this off, he needed a specialized suit to protect him from the, the extreme wind, wind unfiltered yeah. sunlight, and lack of oxygen. One mistaken movement could have put him into a rapid spin, rendering him unconscious and causing his blood to boil. And Nightwing just did it without any of that. Damn. He's certainly tough, but he's had his fair share of losses. His scarred body is proof of that. And eventually, him and Bats finally made up. He even yeah. took up the cowl himself when yep, Batman was out that. for a while. Nightwing is one superhero who will always come out on top, along with his partners, Jim and Juan. What? I mean, it's right here in the intern's notes. Who's Jim and Juan? Oh, that's, uh, that's the names these ladies gave his butt cheeks. Oh, well... Guess you can't argue with the ass on that dick. Robin? I haven't used that name in a long time. Call me Nightwing. Before he became the man without fear, Matthew Murdock was the son of a professional boxer named Battling Jack. I watched Sounds the, like a uh, badass, Netflix series. but Jack actually boxed Loved because it. it was the only thing he was good at. Kinda wasn't and he in a needed money like to that. get his kid through school so that little but Matt would I'm, have I'm a better life than the, he uh, did. The, the Defenders. Uh, what but a good dad. Daredevil. He's punching people for his and, kid. Uh, Matt still trained in secret with his father's exercise. Luke Cage. Him, molding himself into a powerful fighter I'm and an expert Jessica athlete. Jones. This and new I'm, athletic I'm, ability I'm trying to make my way handy through. when he witnessed a blind I'm man just... walking right in front of a speeding truck. Feeling especially heroic that day, Matt dove in to push the guy to safety, but the truck crashed, sending some weird acid stuff flying all over Matt's face. From that day forward, Matt was permanently blind. I can't see! I can't see! The stuff that, uh, made... Still, Matt did not give up on Matt the dream his father was supposed to be He the earned his degree with flying it's colors an and founded a law firm with his friend Foggy Nelson. Things were actually looking up for him. Well, except for when his dad was killed by a mobster for ruining a rigged boxing match. Because you can't be a superhero unless you've lost your parents. Matt was distraught. His world had come crashing down around him, and he couldn't even see it happen. But he could hear it, smell it, feel it. Yeah, cause turns out that radioactive goop didn't just blind Matt, it gave him superpowers. So he dressed up like the devil himself yeah, I, I, and I, I literally don't like scared the, the monster to the death. And, and, and so, Daredevil was born. Many blind people, particularly those born with it, experience a rewriting of the brain to heighten their other senses. Somewhat making As up I was for their saying, the, the, uh, Something right similar corner. happened to Daredevil, except like a hundred times greater. His touch became so sensitive, he can tell when a person is close to him simply from the disturbance in the air. His ears can pick up the faintest of sounds, from the slightest movement of an enemy to the rising heartbeat of someone who's lying. His taste oh, I, can that detect me. each I need to make it through ingredient all the in any recipe, including poisons, and his nose can track you down like a bloodhound. 
Who needs eyes when you can sense everything around you to the smallest detail? But he couldn't use his blind powers as well as he does without the training under a super Stick. secret warrior named Stick. No relation. With Stick's help, Matt mastered just, several fighting styles, Stick and Stick including yeah, Ninjutsu, Krav Maga, and Kung Fu. And get this, Stick had basically the same blind powers as Daredevil. Whoa. Silk sheets. Thanks to him, Matt learned how to hone his senses, to know and maneuver through his surroundings even better than those with working eyes. He also learned how to tap into something called an atom-induced radar sense. Like the thing that bats do that when they bounce sound around to see in the dark or whatever? Sort of. That's sonar, or echolocation, and he can use it too. But thanks to his radioactive origins, Daredevil can actually emit electromagnetic energy waves from his body, which bounce off objects in his vicinity, painting a picture of his surroundings in his head. This means he doesn't even need sound to find and take down an opponent. So he's got a ton of ways to make up for his eye problem, but he's what also got some awesome gear to help him take out the bad guys. Like his devil suit that's bulletproof, shockproof, flameproof, and a perfect backup plan whenever he forgets to prep for a Halloween party. For combat, he built a versatile weapon out of his most innocuous possession, the a walking up. cane. By day, he's a feeble blind man slowly tapping across the road. But by night, he whips out the horns and snaps his cane into a I didn't mind the, um, the, the Ben Affleck movie cable, so much. Hidden blades, a recording device, and exploding pellets. It can even turn into a boomerang. Man, where do I get one of these? You don't have to be blind, right? No, but you shouldn't. You already destroy everything without a super club. D -D, well, get out of my laboratory. As he does. You know how Captain America tosses his shield all over the place and it always seems to come back to him? Kinetics. Well, Daredevil does the exact same thing. And he can throw it hard enough to bust concrete. He's super strong. He can lift a 400-pound barbell and chuck it as casually as when I toss a beer away if it's time for a new one. He's quick enough to deflect bullets with his billy club and skill enough to bounce one back so it killed the man who fired it in the first place. Damn. But that guy wasn't expecting I didn't know that. that. It looks like he's firing a Glock, which has a muzzle speed of about 1,200 feet per second. At just 20 feet away, Daredevil had to react within 17 milliseconds to avoid getting hit. And while he couldn't survive a shot to the head, he's powered through a heck of a lot when compared to the average human. He Thank survived you. zaps from Electro, whose power can burn through metal. He's fallen multiple stories and walked away, powered through a napalm explosion, and been hit by a five-foot bar swung by the ox, who can tear through metal cages and lift more than 800 pounds. His keen control over his nervous system has also helped him resist tranquilizers and toxins, but his super senses are also his biggest weakness. They may give him way more Sound. field awareness than most anybody else, but if his opponent knows how his powers work, they can overload his senses with an extremely loud noise or a really bad smell. Like, if he had a truckload of screaming skunks you could throw at him. That'd probably work, right? But even with those weaknesses, Daredevil is a fearsome foe for anyone who would face him. Even if he can't see them. He even managed to balance his life of law and the crime fighting, and became a huge success on his own. Papa Boxer would be proud. I'm gonna kill you! Thank you, Sean. I like, right, his, I like his sense. armor, Let's the way it looks. Once and for all. I like My Nightwing first, better, but yeah, I like them both. I'm envious. I wish I had the money of this like that for costume. By now, you've probably I'm making stuff out of scrapping and foam and whatnot. In the I'm doing like low, low, low budget you know cosplay. All the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? Like the honey chipotle glazed chicken with poblano and lime rice. There's plenty to choose from, since they offer 12 new recipes each week. All you have to do is choose the two, three, or four that sound best to you, and they deliver it right to your door. Two, three, or Plus, four. it's super simple to cook. It's got easy-to-follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. They're non-GMO, and the meat has no added hormones. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty when you make something and it tastes good, it feels feel good. Like you feel like feeds. you really accomplished something. So check out this I'm not going to lie. And get your first three I've never used Blue Apron. I'm just talking about cooking in general. Slash battle. That's Blue Apron slash battle. But if to anybody at Blue Apron wants to you know, throw an endorsement right my way, now, I'm not going to say no. I'll eat that stuff right on camera while I'm doing this. Yeah, buddy. Uh, 
they use a scaled a, a scaled down budget costume. I like how they, they uh the cover part of the license plate. I know you're there. You can leave now, or I can drag you out. It's your choice. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots. Especially looking at the Prince of Darkness. But that case over there is part of an investigation I've been working. So why don't you hand it over, and I'll get out of your horns. Is that a no, then? Hell yeah, that's a no. I don't like that costume. I know you're there. You can leave now, or I can drag you out. It's your choice. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots. Especially looking at the Prince of Darkness. His armor case, looks, his, his costume, his armor looks a little been better. Working. So why don't you hand it over, and I'll get out of your horns. Is that a no, then? <laughs> Starting off with a, a Superman flip. Box and stance. Come on, let's get. Yep. He had to hurt. Like his knees should hurt. Up, oh, up, oh, jujitsu. Switch it. Triangle, triangle. Arm bar. Kick him. If you move, switch the body a little bit, give it a little weight, and kick him in the, in the head. He'll get off. That's it. He's one arm down. No, that's not how armbar works. Armbar does not dislocate your shoulder. It puts the pressure on your elbow to snap your elbow. Better. That doesn't work. Bop. Those are different than the ones he drew initially. The ones were just regular ones. He's got little nubby knob things on the bottom. I wish I could see the look on your face. Me too. That's it. That's all she wrote. Falcon! Bond! It's not a death, but it's damn sure a TKO. Or not so even TKO, have. that's a knockout. He's gonna be unconscious, bro. Why, oh! Was that live action? 
we can do that now? This was possibly one of our closest matchups to date. Despite lacking a true superhuman physique, both Nightwing and Daredevil were extremely skilled and deadly fighters. When it came to overpowering each other, they were pretty dead even. Sure, based on their previous feats, we can tell that Nightwing seemed a little stronger and more acrobatic, and Daredevil seemed a little quicker to react. But these differences were extremely minimal. It's actually feasible that these two could pull off almost all the exact same feats. Keyword being almost. What I just said, yep. Right. With such similar physical abilities, this really came down to their arsenal. Nightwing's gadgets and Daredevil's superpowers. At first glance, these could Nightwing simply has a lot more each gadgets, other, making I... this match completely even again. For example, both could take advantage of the dark with night vision or super senses, but only one set was perfectly suited to actively disrupt the other. Remember Nightwing's scanning mask? There's no way he couldn't notice those electro waves Daredevil's radar sense was sending everywhere. Even Mr. Magoo could have figured out something was weird here, let alone the guy trained by freaking Batman. You know, the greatest detective in the world. Through a little hand-to-hand -hand action, Nightwing was certainly clever enough to recognize Daredevil's reliance to sound over sight and had the perfect counterweapon the ultrasonic wing day. Yeah. Look, I'm sure there were several possible scenarios where Daredevil could have pulled off the win. Like that one. More times than not, Nightwing takes this thanks to his athletic skill, detective training, and high-tech gadgets. All he had to do was dare to wing it. The winner is Nightwing. Mario vs. Sonic. I haven't seen that one, but I've heard about it. Oh, this thing came off the, the camera. Let lens cap on the whole time. Are you telling me every single time you've set up the camera, you've never taken the cap off? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our 99th episode, and thanks to Ismahawk for that awesome live action fight. Plus, we got a. This is their 99th episode. I think this is around my 50th. So. Milestone to me. Yay! Uh, I figured Daredevil, or rather Nightwing, was going to call was going to be the, the victor because I've read too many Batman comics where it, I, I feel like he just pulls everything and, and he's got something for everybody. Like the guy keeps Kryptonite on his belt. He's got a plan to take down the Justice League if need be. But. I thoroughly enjoyed that, especially the martial arts aspects, because, well, I'm a martial artist. I was calling, I was calling out the moves and and the boxing stance. I was, I was with that. So, but I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. I'm King Sway, and I'll see you in the next one.